DLC release dates, Fenris returns, new Inquisition songs ahead, and another merch roundup. It's May 1st, 2015, my name is Ash, and let's get started. Jaws of Hakon was a time release DLC, popping up on Xbone and PC back on March 25th. And now, Bioware has a confirmed release date for the Xbox 360, PS4, and PS3. Tuesday, May 26th. Price is still a penny away from $15. If you are thinking about buying the DLC but not sure what to expect, my review of Jaws of Hakon is up on this channel. Links below, and don't worry because the intro is spoiler free. If Jaws of Hakon is not your thing and you're looking for something a little bit more familiar, the Black Emporium's release date is confirmed for Tuesday, May 5th. The DLC is similar to its predecessor from Dragon Age 2. The mirror transformation allows you to change your Inquisitor's appearance, while vendor tables allow you to buy new weapons, crafting materials, schematics, and more. Also, Xenon the Antiquarian is still the owner, thanks to the lovely Yavanna, so he may say hello. Coinciding with the release date is the Dragon Slayer multiplayer expansion, which offers a new location in Ferelden where you finally get to slay a dragon with friends. Also, you can play as three new characters, the Avar Skywatcher, who combines magic and melee, Zither, the really cool virtuoso that casts magic by playing the lute, and Isabella. If you need me to explain Isabella, you should probably play Dragon Age 2 because the Pirate Queen of the Eastern Seas needs no introduction. Both the Black Emporium and the Dragon Slayer multiplayer expansion will be free and again will be downloadable May 5th. As far as book news, David Gator hinted at a familiar face returning in his next Dragon Age book. Fenris. While the book isn't about him, the lovely, broody elf Fenris will be playing some role in the upcoming novel. To clarify, yes, Gator left the Dragon Age team for Bioware's new IP. He won't be writing for the Dragon Age games or DLC. However, he is writing this book. But as far as unannounced DLC goes, Eliza Vetta, the original voice behind Bard Meriden's songs featured in Inquisition, tweeted she is singing new songs. It's already been hinted that Bioware is making new DLC campaigns, likely related to Darkspawn, but new music is a different road to the dreary deep roads we're so familiar with, and is very, very exciting. Hello. As far as new merchandise, Dragon Age World of Thetis Volume 2 comes out very soon, officially releasing May 6th through Dark Horse Comics and the Bioware store, and May 12th from other retailers like Amazon and your local bookshop. Regular price is $40, and the exclusive edition through the Bioware store is limited to 2,000 copies at $80 each. Additionally, Sanchi is selling three new items, an Inquisition heraldry shirt for $20, a big Mabari plush for $50, and two sets of character button packs for $6 each. Links for both World of Thetis Volume 2 and Sanchi's new gear are in the description below, including everything I've talked about thus far. That's all I have for you, links below. If you like this video and want to stay informed on the latest with Bioware, please subscribe. I appreciate you being here. If you want to know what's coming up on this channel, especially the live streams on Twitch, like my Black Emporium stream on Tuesday, be sure to bookmark ladyinsanity.com schedule. If you want the latest Dragon Age news before it even hits this channel, follow me on ladyinsanity.tumblr.com. Enough of that, Van Harel and Ansel, I'll see you next time.